Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, today very easy for me to pick up the subject because this is the first time I never saw Nike's performance is that bad. It is really bad, right? Um, not only the revenue of China dropped it. It dropped it on all the regions. No matter is in U.S., in um, Asia, in um, China, of course, and then in Europe, all revenue dropped. It. I don't know what happened to Nike, and we paced of the CEO of Elon, right? Um, he will back to the company on October fourteen. Still not right. Still um, about ten days to go. But the financial report is really, really bad. Why? Right? How come that bad? I don't know why. That is not only the problem of China. Not only that. If we look at for Lululemon, or even we look at for Adidas, it's not that bad. All right. So, what did happen to Nike? We don't know. And today we are going to. Um, take a take a very quick look on the um, financial report of Nike. So do not touch this stock. I think maybe we have to wait for at least one or two quarters or more. So I remember one very famous word from Warren Buffett. Don't just look at the CEO of a company. Examine the whole company. All right. That is a very useful word. The stock price of、um, Nike did rise up about fourteen percent after the news of Elon come back, but then it dropped back again because the performance is too bad, right? And the market has no confidence on it will become better in a very so- very short time, maybe. She will need one or two years or more. We don't know because we don't know what is the what happened to Nike. What happened? No inflation anymore, right? China, not only China, U.S. U.S. America's revenue, Europe's revenue, also dropped it, and they dropped it even bigger than the drop in China. So what happened to Nike, right? We will take a quick look on that. So our subject is replace of CEO. Doesn't mean Nike will turn around soon, right? A lot of、um, comments said that Nike will turn around. I don't think so. I don't think so. Now is、um, the stock price is eighty two US dollar per share, and the highest is one hundred eighty something. So now is lower than half, right? Okay, our Falcon portfolio been、um, to one hundred nineteen percent after seventeen months. Sorry, that is a mistake. Why、right? I don't know why. Then, um, as our portfolio been、um, launched on January, very very early of January of um twenty nineteen. So now is um seventeen months, right? So if any of you have any comment um on our program. Then you can leave your message under the YouTube, or you can directly email to me by US Stock Market Weekly at gmail dot com. The usual take for Nike, but not as shiny as before, right? Not as shiny as before. So we pace of CEO doesn't mean Nike will turn around soon. This is our title. Um, yesterday, because of the、um, Middle East, right?、Um, we will explain very soon. That may affect the oil price. So yesterday,、um, Dow dropped the maximum about more than two hundred points, and then market close is dropped by one hundred eighty four points.、Um, not a big changes to Nasdaq, only dropped by six points. And this is our Falcon three hundred fifty thousand portfolio. So, 
our portfolio established on January 2nd of um, 2019. So today is um, five years. That means 60 months plus um, 10 months. That means it's 70 months, right? So our portfolio performance is 119%. And this year, our portfolio increased by 14%. Right? So we achieved our target already. We go through some um, headlines first. And why the Dow closed um, nearly more than 200 points drop because of the oil spike, All right? Because of oil spike, then we go to another screen first. It was because um, the fight back of Iran from Israel and Biden said that afraid Israel may strike on the oil facility of Iran. We know that um, Iran is the number seven biggest, number seven biggest, right? Not very big. Number seven biggest of oil supplier in the world. Number one is um, America, right? So if the um, oil facility of Iran is being heated, then the um, global oil prices may easily go up to 200. US dollar. So that's the reason why a lot of people are afraid that and also Biden told Israel don't attack on the oil facility of Iran. If the oil prices goes up to 200 US dollar per barrel, there will be a very big, very, very big financial crisis all over the world. It happened before already, right? So that's why the investor are afraid. Oh, where we are afraid? We don't know, right? Because there's a war, right? Um, it did not happen yesterday night, then we hope that it won't, right? Um, China stock market, A market, already went up by 25%. And now China is in um, National Day holiday until next Tuesday, right? So a lot of um, hedge fund uh, and the China government, then they are well prepared to have the money go into China. This is what I learned from the news, right? Of course, the biggest is the China government, right? So this kind of money bubble, right? Um, how to say? I won't say? I won't say it will burst out. Because if at this, because if this, at this level, right? Um, if that's it, then it won't cause a big bubble. But if it goes on, now the um, A share is um, 3,300, rise up from 2,700. Uh, 2, and if this goes up more than 20%, maybe up to 4,000, or this kind of going up, keep on for one or two months more, then the bubble will burst out. Then that it, that will be a big problem. That will be a big problem. If the bubble is only up to here, then even it bursts out, will not be back. But if you keep um boosting the bubble up twenty five percent again, and then lingers for more one month, and then the burst out of the bubble will be killing. Will be a disaster. So we'll see, right? I don't know. We'll see. It's the same situation happened to Hong Kong, right? Hong Kong's uh, hand Sen index without any fundamentals, right? Without any fundamentals, uh, rise up from 17,000 to 22,000 in just few days. In just few days. And in this week, China is um, having a holiday. But Hong Kong, no holiday, only one day, right? So if that's it, 22,000 is the maximum, and then it gradually go, go down again, it will have a very small bubble burst out. But if you boost it again, after China reopen to say 26,000, 28,000, or 30,000, and then keeps on boosting for one month more, then the burst out, 
will be killing we will the disasters right so i don't know i hope it will not happen but may happen right this is what my feeling right so we'll see now mark zuckerberg is the world's second richest person ahead of Jeff Bezos of Amazon, right? And then now he shares his stake in matter worth 70 billion US dollar in 2025, in 2024, sorry. So that is, um, well, really cool, right? <laughs> really cool, right? So that's what it is, right? A lot of people using matter and a lot of um, advertisements still on matter. Um, matter and then on Google, Apple, um, just um, 10 of them in US take, I think, more than 80% of the e advertisement, right? Um, Xin, actually, she is from China, not from Singapore, right? We all know that, then she will have the IPO in London very soon. But just ahead of that, she hold the role show. She hold the world show and from the um, news ahead. It said she is prepared as waiting for UK regulatory approval. That means UK is working on it. Why? Because of any support or subsidize from the China government. It will be a monopoly. No matter, no matter is for um, inside the UK trade or then go into US or to now in Singapore, right? Then she has to disclose more her relationship with China government and then any subsidize from the China government. If too much, then that is monopoly, right? So we'll wait for UK's um, approval then or further news. Um, very lucky the port strike in US ended right, very quickly. The worker agreed to tentative deal on wages and contract extension. Right? Uh, I remember they are, um, the workers is asking for 78% salary increment for coming um, four years, four years. And the um, employers is offering about half of them about half of them, right? And from the news, then they agreed that that's what it is, right? That's a good news to us, right? Okay, then we go for Nike. Nike's performance very bad. In the past six months, the stock price dropped by 7.83% with a dividend yield about 1.8%. And in the past one year, that is a six month, that is a one year, dropped up by 14%. I put a um, red mark on that. After the news of the pace of um, Elo, CEO back to Nike, the stock price immediately up from about 75 to 90. And then very quickly, it dropped it back to 82. If we look at this stock um, historic graph, then you will see that now the stock price of Nike is not even up to half of the peak of Nike before. It's, a, it's about 180. Now it's only 82. So the performance is very bad. We all know that turnaround of Nike will not happen in just a night we know that right but we need to know how she can she need how she will ratify right it's not just we thinking she will correct if she need to show us something that is workable and then it's workable and then the profit will come in right it's not just we imagine oh it did not come back everything all right then no such thing right And from the analysis, Nike's negative include strong competition. We all know that, right? 
from Lu Lemon, from Adidas and the others, or some from China, right? Falling earning and revenue, that is the same thing, right? Consistent downward revision from analysts and a weak fiscal Q2 revenue forecast, right? So we'll go through that very quickly. And I'm very sad to see that, you can see that, for the revenue of Nike, you can see that start from one year before, second quarter, continuously the revenue growth to drop, and then drop, 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 drop the to the, now is the third quarter, zero and then a negative. Now is a negative. Very sad because Nike been a very good brand. It's been a very good brand, and now become this. So um, we recorded on September nineteen, all right? Nike announced that Elon will become CEO and come back again, and effective on October fourteen. That means ten days after, ten days later. But even like that. The um, financial report announced of Nike is quite scary. You can see that I put a big cross on the financial statement of Nike, right? And this is from this year's June, July, and then to August. We can see that the revenue dropped it by 10%, right, very bad, dropped it, no growth, negative growth, and then the net income dropped it by 28%, 28. We know that the um, tax rate is a more, one year before it's 12%, and then now it's 196 but no, no matter what, the net income dropped it more than 20%, dropped it even more than the drop of revenue. And then she has um, a little bit raised the dividend from one year before for, uh, 34 cents to now 37 cents. Um, for the gross margin, a little bit improved it. 45.4% and one year before is 44.2%. Right? And I um, go for it already. The tax rate is 19.6%. One year before is 12%. And for the balance sheet, still okay for Nike. Current asset, 25 billion US dollar. Current liability, plus the long term debt, about 18.5 billion US dollar. Still okay. So I put a take. If we divide the revenue, I'm uh, sorry, the EBITDA, EBITDA to different country, different region, you will see that all drop. North America, that means America dropped it by 15%. Europe, Middle East dropped it also by 15%. China dropped it by 4%. Asia Pacific dropped it by 3%. Global Bank doesn't matter already, right? So make up the total Nike brand. EBITDA dropped up by 20%. So what happened to Nike? Right? We know that what is uh, EBITDA? EBITDA means the um, you're doing a business, the efficiency is very inefficient, right? Why? The cost is too big, right? Cost of sales too big. Expenditure too big, blah, 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 something like that. I don't know, right? I don't know. But now we know that the inflation in the whole world dropped already. So what is really happening in Nike? We don't know. We don't know, right? But we did know that for all countries, sales drop. Not only China, even in US, mother country dropped up by 15%. Europe dropped up by 15%, right? So we have to stop and think about it. If we, if you should still hold this stock, right? Nike is a good stock, 
but unless we figure out what happened, and then for Idilo to tell us what Nike will do to stop this become worse and then make it better, better and better, I think this may take you a few years. I don't know. Most probably will need a few years to go. So it's your call, right? So you can see that the forward PE is higher than the current PE because the growth is a negative and the net income is a drop, right? So you can see the forward PE is up to very close to 30 already, right? So I do not suggest you to hold Nike for now, right? Unless Elon give us um, why did this happen, how to verify, and how he can execute the plan. And then the others, then we pay this to God, right? Because we don't know, right? If anything happened, financial crisis, war, and then it will be over for four or five years, right? So it's your call. So guys, um, thanks for watching and like, comment, share, uh, did it, right? So please subscribe and then push the bell icon. So next time when there is video uploaded, YouTube will inform you. Okay, thanks guys for watching and I hope everyone have a very peaceful um, weekend. See you guys on next Friday. Bye-bye.